Hey guys, how are you? I'm here behind the camera. Brandy's right there. Hello. T minus 15 hours until we have to be in the airport. T what is T minus? What does T minus stand for? Got him. Um, what does it stand for? I don't know, but I'm not using it right now. You are. Time. So T stands for time. Mm -hmm. Minus. Oh, okay, 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 okay. As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. Sorry, sorry, babe. 15 hours until we have to be in the airport. 17 hours until the flight takes off. Mm -hmm. And then from here to Wednesday, I don't know. Where are we going? Where are we going? Well, I was about to say it. Oh, okay. And okay. then from here to Wednesday, like, I don't know how many hours that is. But that is until we are in London. We're going to baby, London. Maybe you say for what? You say for what? Look how I look You look good, baby. Can we please talk about Lewis's transformation, too? He, he looks so different now. Damn. Bro, give us a turn around, turn around. Damn. Well, where are we going, Robin? We are going to London because I'm fighting Saturday, <gasps> May 13th. Oh, and today's Monday. Monday. Today's Monday. Today's Monday. So literally six days, technically, right? Six yeah. days. Six days. I'm ready, bro. I mean, you can see I'm ready. Yeah. We're getting ready. We are currently packing, as you can see. You know, we have. We're both currently packing. Let me show you. Lewis is very neat. He has outfits laid out. It looks very good. Mm -hmm. And mine's like that. Boy, well, I'm currently getting it. All packed. You didn't pack any outfits? You just pack random shit? No, no, no. I packed outfits, but I'm saying like you have it like organized. Mine, which is I just threw everything on top and then just folded it. I'm very excited to be in London, but I'm also very excited to be like I'm gonna watch Lewis box and he's gonna have his first fight ever. We announced that he was fighting like a, a week ago here on the YouTube channel, mm -hmm. but just to show you guys again, this is his little fighting poster, and I'm very excited. We're gonna be in London. Like who would have thought we would have been in London, right? Good ass. I, I mean, I never thought we'd go to London. I, I never thought. Like, I, I thought we were maybe Italy, Spain. But not London. Not London, but, but it's exciting, bro. Yeah. It's exciting. So we're going to finish packing and we're going to see you guys tomorrow. The next day. I'll see you. Bye, Boca. Bye, Levy. I love you. Look, I'm a passport bro now. This is our first time ever traveling with our passports, and I didn't know you had to scan them, so we're like, <gasps> we're so excited. But they added Louis's birthday wrong when they bought the tickets, like the flight organization. So now we gotta wait in line and they gotta fix it. But yeah. My wow, baby, baby. Wow. You like me? I like you. I like you. All right, guys. Here's my picture. Damn. <laughs> I don't look that good. Can't wait to fill like the whole thing up with stamps of like all the places around the world. All right, we just checked in. We got our boarding passes and I'm not gonna lie, I got so nervous because I'm not a United States citizen. I'm a citizen oh, in Chile. Chile. Yeah, I'm a citizen in Chile. Permanent resident. But here. I'm a permanent resident here. So, so illegal, this is my illegal. first time traveling outside of the country. I mean, we've been to Puerto Rico before in the US Virgin Islands, but they have like, they're part of the US. So this is my first time ever going to a whole other country and I was so nervous. So we go up because the person that booked his flight put the wrong birthday. Day. So then yeah. we were already checking in with the girl. So she gets my information. And she's like, "You're because um, my permanent resident card is expired, but I do have a form that I have to travel along with that shows that it's good for like 24 months. It's like this whole thing. We're going from here to Boston, and then from Boston to London. She was having an issue with me even going from Boston to London. So we were there for like 20 minutes. And I was so nervous. I was like, "What if I don't go? Oh my god!" Like, Maybe. and I'm still nervous. I'm like, just I hope that like when we go from London back to the United States, like there's no issue. Yeah, because there's customs like here. You want to have customs or when you come back with the like, US yeah. customs? But I went online and I was on the USCIS page, which is like the United States citizen something. Immigration. Like, immigration, services. yeah. And they even said I was going to be fine with travel. Okay. And I called my mom as soon as they said I was good to flight. And I'm like, Mom, I'm good because she was really worried for me. She's like, Como vas a hacer esa cosa estupidas? You put your life on risk. I know, She's bro. like, that. <laughs> She was just like freaking out. And I'm like, Mom, I'm going to be fine. Like, trust me. She's like, No. Tu no sabes eso. Ellos te van a dejar entrar. When you're like, come from immigrant parents or like just. It's a very Whatever. touchy subject. Yeah, it's like very like sensitive, bro. Like they get so scared. Her mom was like freaking out as if she was gonna get like deported or something. Bro. She's yeah, good. But I called her right away. I'm like, I'm good. And then she's like, Who checked you? The immigration people. I'm like, No, jet blue. She's like, That doesn't matter. In the flight. <laughs> this is the flight going to Boston, so we're not going to London yet. But we're in. Say, I'm, I'm getting excited now. Like I'm excited. Like I don't want to put too much pressure because I want to be excited about London. Mm -hmm. You know, with you, with my, with my, with my uh, soulmate, woman, my woman. soulmate. A woman, my soulmate. But I'm excited to be in London, in Europe for the first time. London, it's gonna be exciting. Yeah, the first fight out of many. And I was just thinking, and I just told this to Lewis, I yeah, was like, funny. you know what? This is the first time like we're going on like a business type thing that's not like about an event. Me, it's not about her, and it's about you. Cause I'm always a plus one. Like you guys know this from previous vlogs. If you're OG, like I'm always a plus one. Like at um, like YouTuber events, like um, what's it called that one? Yeah, anything. Yeah. And so now you're the plus different. one. Yeah, it's different. 
and because I, I was thinking in my head, I'm like, okay, what's my itinerary? What do I gotta do? And I was like, I don't have nothing to do. I'm like, I'm just here. And, and we, we made, made it to London. London. Guys, we're currently in Europe. Crazy, bro. It was a rough start, I'm gonna lie. A little bit of a rough start. We got here and we got a total of like two hours of sleep because of the time change. By the time we got here, it was 6 a.m. here, but the night had went by so quick and we didn't fall asleep. So when we got here, we knocked out. Ramtee's getting ready. I'm ready. We're gonna go out and explore a little bit. We have a little bit of time before I have to go do a check-in. I have to go do like a boxer check-in thing at this nearby place. And the culture's so different. I feel like I'm so culture shocked too because freaking people are so, there's subways, there's trains. People are walking all over the place fast as hell. Like I feel like pressure even just walking. So it's gonna take us time to adjust because it's a five hour difference. So over here it's two, so over there would be nine, right? So right now it's not bad because we'd be waking up over there, but just think about it. When it's 10 a.m. here, it's 5 a.m. over there. But we've been traveling for a total of nine hours and when we got to London, it was 6 a.m. But back home, imagine, it was like 1 a.m. The sun was rising, everybody was starting their day and we were literally like, our bodies and our minds were in the mindset like we should be sleeping right now. So we got to our hotel room and we showered and we knocked out and we weren't able to sleep that long because we have, to, like Louis said, we have to go out and do things. But I think we have to like let our body adjust and be like yo right now it's this time i know you're sleepy but right now it's this time we gotta push it through until the night time when we can finally go to sleep all right guys so we're on the street in front of the hotel right here and this is what it looks like down here it's like a freaking town center downtown area yeah it looks fire it's raining it's raining, it's raining. i heard it's raining like every day are it's you like, hungry right now uh, i'm not starving but we could eat though we should eat so we haven't eaten like this little it's too eat beautiful place hot noodle soups sushi rice bowls okay so this is what we're eating what type of food is this i don't know you don't I, know i don't know i know it's asian food but i don't know from where gyoza i don't know where that's from is that korean all right lewis is about to get his photos done getting some push-ups in so those muscles can can pop out keep going bae he's probably at like 50. All right, Lewis is about to be interviewed next. Damn, looking fly, there's his name. And the opponent is over there. No tea, no shade, no tea, no shade. It's nice to meet you, Pushkito. We've got a last minute replacement, so replacing me will be my older brother. <laughs> you, you barely know anything about Archie, but you know nothing about his big brother. Does that bother you at all? No, if it ain't like Archie, we got an easy night. I mean, they're pretty flat. Hey. They're pretty much the same size, so I'm not worried about it. <laughs> this time, there's no one who says it. Nobody says it. It's your best, internet. So, as soon as you get to the best, that's what we're asking for that. My brother is fucking fit and strong. It's not about fitness, bro, it's boxing. Cool. You can't fight. Like, you should not be in the same way. I won't, felt, I won't interrupt. I feel great about that press conference. I mean, honestly, it's my first time, but from being my first time, I think I killed it. I feel confident. I looked in the guy's eye. I feel like he has, he doesn't have it in him. Like, I know he doesn't have it in him. He's a bloke. <laughs> <laughs> that He's means a, something in, in I don't know what that means. A wallop. He's the a wallop, wallop man. The wallop, but yeah, no, I feel confident, man. They don't have it in them. Like, I don't see them tra training for it. I don't see them, like, being able to take a hit. I don't see, I, they look like good kids. I'm gonna beat that kid's ass, bro. We the brown fam. It's six o'clock, mate. That was good, the brown fam. In it. Was it good? Was it good? The brown fam was good. Six o'clock, in it. In it, that's good too, in it. Yeah, yeah, you see, you see? Damn. It's six o'clock, in it. Subscribe this YouTube channel, in it. Oh, that was bad, that was bad. <laughs> wallop. If you don't subscribe, you're a wallop. Wallop, you wallop means wallop. idiot in this language. We just learned that today. We just learned that today. So, Lewis has tea to tell you guys because we were just in the lobby as you guys saw. So, we just went downstairs to meet the Brampton member that gave us a cake. Yeah. And when I went down there, I went down there before Brampton. And Guess I saw. Guess who else was there? 
down there was the kid that I was supposed to originally fight that ended up backing out because he couldn't pass his freaking brain scan, so now I'm fighting his brother. So they're staying at the same hotel as us, so when we went down there, Louis was like, Get, look who's there, and I looked, and it was the freaking kid he was supposed to fight. So just imagine, but we were like, we flexed because the Brampton was there, and yeah, yeah, yeah. we got the cake, and... But then before Brampton got there, he like, he, he like, oh, uh, have you talked to Callum, which is the kid I'm fighting now, his name is his Callum. Which is his brother. His brother. He's like, I was like, no. He's like, oh yeah. Wait, hold on. Before you tell a story, let me just insert the video of what happened literally like an hour ago. So this is all fresh. So here's the video of what happened an hour ago. Yeah. Woo! 199.3 pounds. Woo! King Star in the house. Let's go, baby. So then he says, oh, if you talk to Colin, I'm like, oh, said no. He's like, oh, yeah, good, because he's done. He doesn't want to talk to you anymore, like, until after the fight. And I'm like, okay, I didn't want to talk to him because the whole time. Because you want to talk to him? Yeah, I told him straight up, like, okay, I didn't want to talk to him the whole time. So who cares? Like, bro. But they're weird because they keep, like, they're nice, and then they make, like, a show, and they're weird, and then they're nice again. Like, these people, kids are weird, bro. I don't want to talk to him the whole time. Like, if I'm fighting you, I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. Maybe after the fight we can talk. Cool. You know, that's what happens all the time. Yeah. You do get out, whatever. But, like, before, be friendly and shit. It's weird to me, bro. Put me in the ring. That's all I got to say. Brandy wants to be in the ring. She gets hyped. She gets nervous, then she gets hyped, and then she wants to fight somebody. Like, when that whole situation happened where, like, the pushing and everything, like, I got so nervous and my hands started shaking just because, like, I know you got it, but it's just, I don't know, it's just as a wife. Got it. But I get nervous, but then in moments like this, like, uh, elbow. Look at that, the elbow, socket. bro. Right, go uh, in the socket, you said? <laughs> yeah, in the socket. Oh, my. You heard that? Oh. Oh. You see me? You see, I good. keep That's my good. hands up. That's I have, my, you I have twist, my position. You spin, you I twist. Like, I'm not a... Uh, she has good form. I'm not a, what's that word they Turns say here? Turns her punches over. That a word what? they say here? A wallop. I'm not a wallop, man. <laughs> Guys, look. What's your name? Rabia. Rabia? Rabia, Rabia. Rabia with a B? Yeah. Rabia. Yeah. Rabia. Am I saying it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm here with Rabia. She's a Bram fan member and... Bram fam, yeah. Bram fam. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is so that sweet. You made it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Tell us about your business. So it's just an Afghan bakery business. I do cakes, cream rolls. Oh, and cool. just, I saw you guys were in town. I was like, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's so sweet. She me, I think, yesterday. Yeah, last night. Yeah, yeah so nice. she came to our hotel and She's it's chocolate. chocolate. I didn't know that. I was no, that's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. We're not picky. We're not that picky. Yeah, yeah. we're not picky. Aww. I'm so excited. I'm going to take a no, picture. I'm excited, yeah. I can't wait to taste it. And then we're going to have this... Um, Boxing coach too, like oh, everybody. Well, eat it, yeah. I don't know. Maybe should we save it for after the fight or what? Uh, after the fight? Maybe yeah, like, we'll a celeb like a celebration. Like a celebration. Like a, like yeah, a celebrate. Celebrate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That will be all the motivation. Right. Well, yeah. I appreciate you so much. I'm no, sorry. thank you. Thank you guys as well. This is so sweet. Yeah. 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 Ye
measuring them. Definitely both fighters feeling each other out here. Someone needs to make a sped up video of that dance. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, striking blow by Luis. And he bounced. That one has got to Thank God the ropes were right there. Bounced yeah. right off him, back into it. Definitely trying to oh. oh, slip. Slipping on that spot. Well, I mean, oh, there Nesta we go. Going in. Luis coming in. Oh, oh strong, cool. strong return by Callum. Nice right hand by Callum. That might Tell. be a strategy. Push him into the wet spot. <laughs> a nice booby trap set up <laughs> by one of the trainers. <laughs> As Lu oh, he, he left it real fast. Callum has that swaying of his shoulders up and down like 1940s technique, which <laughs> Might be quite effective if you. Oh, oh Nesta strong. goes in, bro. Hands to win a fight, See? and now, okay, oh. nice left hook there by Luis Nesta. You know this has been more competitive than I ever thought oh. it was going to be, and now going in for those body shots, Nesta. There we go. Here we go. He's a little bit of wrestling there. <laughs> but hey, we're getting more action. A lot more action, more action than round action. one. Yeah, you should. Yeah. I, I, I will. Oh, strong Ooh. shots by Luis. There he goes. Nesta now knows he's he's only got seconds to really try and solidify his first win on Misfit and Happy Punch prelims. <laughs> Definitely. And there we go. Now we're seeing some action right there. He's talking to the ref about an issue. Mouth guard. Time sticking down here. Both fighters really have to start doing something, especially Callum. He's going to have to do something big in these last moments if he's going to make a huge change. He's got to do it now. He's yep. got to do it absolutely now. And this could be, you know, his last chance on a stage. There it is. Well, that's the end of that. And your winner by unanimous decision, Papi Luis well, it was much closer than I anticipated, yeah. uh, but I think the judges got it 100% right here. Mm -hmm. Drawn there, he got like a $7,500 fine to promote the event. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Go walk in, walk in.